Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top, beautiful day here in paradise in the Finger Lakes of New York where we have now warmed up to 48 degrees. Woke up this morning uh, to a frosty, frosty morning here. What is it? It's Saturday, October 5th, 2019. Woke up to a frosty October morning. Now ready for the old snowbird to fly. So, uh, anyway, and I also, before I get into this rambling, I'm just basically showing you how beautiful the Finger Lakes are in October. I also woke up to a very fine, very kind gift from uh, from Sister Rosemary. Her very kind gift to my GoFundMe. You know, my two-year-old <coughs> Hambone needs money for his gas-sucking truck. GoFundMe challenge. That is exactly what I did with my money. Uh, Rosemary, with your kind gift, as I gassed up my gas-sucking truck, cranked up the radio, and headed out into this spectacularly gorgeous day where we're going to meet up with the little dog's cousin. We're going to go meet up little dog's identical twin cousin from St. Croix in the big town of Norwich, New York. That's where we're headed. Good Lord. And just enjoying, you know, probably my last outing of the summer. Just driving around aimlessly, burning up fossil fuels. <coughs> In my gas sucking truck, which is the number one best form of therapy, uh, you know, just to drive down and let this gorgeous planet pass me by in the end times while I still can, while I can still get out there in my gas sucking truck. Soak in the beauty of this collapsing planet. Mm. It is the number one best therapy. So, uh, you know, anyone who caught my little whine last night, uh, probably aware of the fact that I am. And Hambone has gotten himself in another pickle that I am uh, hopefully going to somehow diplomatically extricate myself from. Ah, oh, Jesus. And uh, maybe that video I posted last night with a secret message in it will be a step in the right direction. You, you know, um, <laughs> you, you know, just sitting here riding down the road, listening, listening to some rock and roll, uh, you know, just trying to analyze uh, how seemingly intelligent <clears throat> human beings can can just so blindly with eyes wide open just walk into an obvious train wreck just just seeing a train wreck uh, <laughs> And, and walk right into it. It's just like, uh, you, you know, it's just like the human race, uh, just my own uh, inability 
to recognize train wrecks are not so much my inability to recognize them, but even when I do recognize them, even when I see more red flags uh, flapping off of a uh, off of a potential scenario, then then you find flapping in red square. How I continue in my life to to keep self sabotaging, and it's just a metaphor for the entire human race with all of these red flags flapping. Uh, you know that we are heading into a train wreck of monumental proportions. We just simply, uh, just like a moth to the flame, we, we just barrel headlong uh, into this train wreck uh, with, with our eyes wide open. You know, it's like, you know, it's like climbing in my gas-sucking truck to get out there and enjoy uh, this uh, gorgeous collapsing planet for one more day, knowing full well that it is this gas-sucking truck. It is, uh, Hambone needs money for his gas-sucking truck. It is the reason why we're so fucked. And I continue to do it. But maybe, just maybe, uh, the, the universe here on a smaller level has sent me a, a whisper. And so maybe I will uh, be able to extricate myself out of this lat, out of this latest uh, obvious train wreck, with, with a minimum of collateral damage. Man, look at this, guys! Look at this fine day. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I think what I want to talk about uh, today is the fourth biggest story on the planet. Uh, the fourth biggest story on the planet in the mainstream media today was that uh, about that performance artist <clears throat> at that AOC town meeting. I don't know how many of you caught my, uh, <clears throat> my little rant yesterday cheering on uh, this performance artist who showed up at this town meeting uh, at AOC uh, a couple of days ago. You know, this, uh, <clears throat> who it ended up being, I, it, was there anybody, you, you know, the first thing that, that I, that I am just continue to be dumbfounded by is how people cannot recognize obvious irony and satire when they see it in a in a performance and whoever this woman was uh, getting up there and uh, with her her spot on performance uh, in front of AOC is there anybody on the planet who actually believed that this woman was some sort of mentally disturbed <clears throat> uh, crazy uh, doomer chick. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I have to admit, you know, I was a little unclear what she was. I, I have to admit, well, well obviously, uh, th th this was a classic performance, and and I was I, I was uh, hoping against all odds that who this woman was <clears throat> really was a doomer chick. Uh, trying, you know, to make fun of the uh, little limp dick lefty greenies acting like, uh, A, that this fucking uh, uh, Green New Deal is going to do a goddamn thing to save this planet and, uh, you know, getting 
trying to elicit this hilarious knee slapper from uh, the little queen of the limp dick lefty greenies. Well, I guess she's been deposed. Uh, AOC has been dethroned by dude as the little uh, <coughs> Joan of Arc uh, of the little lefty uh, uh, greenies. But anyway, we're not going to get in. We're not going to get into that. Uh, but of course, to you know, to to get AOC to uh, talk about how there is always reason for hope. Uh, you know, to expose. Uh, AOC for the goddamn little hopium filled uh, little cheerleader of the fucking Green New Deal. <clears throat> so, of course, I, I was holding out some uh, doomer pipe dream that this, uh, that this uh, Academy Award winning uh, performance artist uh <clears throat> showing up at <laughs> at this AOC town hall was uh trying to uh you know to show to these little fucking limp dick greeny lefties how fucked we are but of course who she so apparently who i guess uh who she is is uh one of these performance artists from uh, the the Lyndon LaRouche gang, you, you know that uh, that you, you know. Well, I can't get into a whole rant about Lyndon LaRouche. Someday I need to do a, a whole rant about Lyndon, but uh, essentially. Who she was is is one of these you know clueless fucking uh, you know completely clueless, uh, not an apocalyptimist, just a clueless fucking moron, climate denying, right wing, uh, you know just one of these fucking clueless scumbag, right wing climate. Uh, change deniers and not, not only climate change deniers but more importantly overpopulation deniers uh, but but at least uh, she was uh, getting more than anybody else bringing overpopulation uh, out there and, and good for uh, the, the, this clueless fucking uh, Fliberty gibbet uh, for bringing uh, the whole subject of overpopulation and bringing it, uh, you know, to the attention of the mainstream media. Anybody who can, uh, no, no matter where you're coming from, if you can get the mainstream media to uh, to start discussing overpopulation then more power to you but you know this this really what this is what this whole uh, latest uh, hilarious uh, artistic performance by this woman was it, it's just you know it's just one more example of how doomers are they're not so much just absolutely despised by the right and the left. They're just completely ignored. That uh, we doomers, we're, we're just completely irrelevant to the conversation. So, uh, you know, where this is when I talk about, uh, you know, that I am so far to the left that I actually, uh, that I am such a lefty, that I am so far radically left that I end up, uh, you know, rubbing shoulders against the far right more often than I do the soft left. Uh, you know, in embodied 
by AOC and Naomi Klein and Bill McKibben, uh, you know, and all of these pathetic fucking hopium fueled apocaloptimists, clueless morons. They make me sicker than, you know, AOC makes me want to puke more than Lyndon LaRouche. That I, you know, when we get one of these uh, hard right, you know, right wing fucking climate change deniers, at least they, you know, at least they understand that uh, that AOC and the Green New Deal and, and all of this shit, it, 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 it's a fucking joke. You know, this is the reason why I am 100% in uh, support of uh, Donald Trump pulling out uh, of the Paris Climate ag uh, Agreement. Now, of course, Donald Trump uh, pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement for all the wrong reasons. You know, that uh, performance artist up there from the Lyndon LaRouche camp, which is pretty much the same as the Donald Trump camp, was was doing her performance art for all the wrong reasons. Uh, you know, she was doing it to promote the the clueless fucking moron uh, climate change denying agenda. Uh, you know, trying to promote their bullshit by waving the bullshit detected uh, on the AOC uh, uh, on the AOC uh, Green New Deal bullshit. So we have bullshit. So what we have is the hard right hitting their bullshit detectors on the soft left uh, and the soft left uh, hitting their bullshit detectors on the hard right and, and both of them are right. Uh, they're well correct. Uh, they're, they're both spot on uh, in their hitting their bullshit detector button. But of course, what both uh, of those camps <clears throat> completely fail to see is the goddamn hilarious double irony. Uh, that, that you just have to, that it takes, you know, only a doomer can, uh, you know, can take that, uh, that hilarious uh, performance uh, by, that, uh, by that woman uh, yesterday and, and even dig deeper. You've got to pull, uh, you know, you, you've got to pull back the layers of irony. And it was, you know, what completely escapes e even the woman doing it. Uh, e even the performance artist herself, what completely escapes her and everyone who agrees with her is the same thing uh, that completely escapes these little uh, limp dick, greeny lefties cheering on AOC and the Green New Deal is that uh, the woman was right. We're fucked. You know? And, and, and this is why, you know, once again, I, I, you know, I'm finding myself, oh my God, God, am I here all alone? Am I the only fucking person? Well, I, I, I know that I've got Andy the Gardener in my camp. Sometimes I feel like uh, me and uh, uh, Andy the Gardener are, are the only two people. Uh, Andy, uh, if you're listening to this, could you please uh, send in uh, how, what, your comment on this woman's performance, uh, how you rate her performance, and but is there anybody else out there? You know what I could not the again uh, could not believe is that that anybody 
on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, surely the fellow who originally alerted this to me, uh, one of my lieutenants, Daniel, surely, Daniel, you understood when you sent that to me that this was a, a performance artist at work. Uh, I, I, you know, it, it just continues to astound me that, uh, that uh, anybody took that seriously. Uh, but again, I, I fully, you, you know, nowhere uh, in the fourth biggest story on the planet, uh, you, you know, at least the debate is being opened. You know, I did, but I, I just absolutely love it. Uh, when we got the two biggest camps of clueless fucking morons on the planet, the right wing deniers and uh, I shudder to use the uh, term left-wing uh, hopium addicts uh, going up against each other while the tiny few people uh, on this planet uh, looking over this, uh, the, the, this latest false right-left schism uh, understanding how completely fucked we are. Uh, y y you know, this, uh, the collapse of a planet, as I've also been talking about this over at uh, Collapse Chronicles, it has nothing to do with the right or the left. You know, trying, trying to, uh, trying to turn uh, the, this story, what's unfolding onto this planet as, as some sort of political story and, and you, you know, and, and just lining up about behind your fucking little uh, right wing or left wing banner acting like uh, politicians are, are going to pull us out of this mess. Uh, when are we going to pull our fucking heads out of our asses? There is no difference between the fucking right and left. This has nothing to do with your political posturing. It's the, uh, you know, that is exactly where the, the, the fucking global corporatocracy, the new world order, uh, that owns both teams in the game. Uh, th th this is not some fucking Alex Jones conspiracy theory. It, it, it is obvious fucking fact for anybody who wants to st who wants to pull their fucking head uh, out of their right wing left wing paradigm ass and understand that the New World Order, otherwise known as the global corporatocracy cheering on, uh, cheering on their growth model, their infinite growth on a finite planet growth model. Uh, those guys that these clueless fucking morons on the right and these clueless fucking morons on the left uh, report to. You know, the guys who own both teams in the Super Bowl. That, that this is exactly what they want us doing. Uh, it is, is dividing and conquering. Uh, getting us in the in these hilarious little uh, little slap downs at an AOC town hall meeting. Uh, you know anybody uh, on on in either one of these camps are, are playing. You're, you're you're being played like a fucking fish. You're you're playing right in to the hands of the evil motherfuckers that are going to stop at nothing to uh, bring down this planet. 
Anyway, I understand that I'm talking to myself and maybe to uh, preaching uh, to Andy the gardener. But uh, anyway, I just find, you know, this latest descent into the fucking twilight zone. Uh, you know, where you can't tell the difference anymore between the fucking onion and, and, and the mainstream media. This is just one more, you know, just the latest example uh, where you can't tell the fucking difference anymore between the mainstream media and the fucking onion as we get deeper and deeper and deeper into the goddamn twilight zone. But anyway, I gotta get back to my rock and roll. I got to get back to my gas sucking truck. Crank up the rock and roll and uh, get back to figuring out well, analyzing how the fuck I ever let myself walk into this latest goddamn trap and how I'm going to get myself back out of it as we all barrel towards the apocalypse with our eyes wide open and the red flags flapping. And uh, I highly advise you to get out there and enjoy this spectacular day here in the end times while you still can. Bye, guys.